I'm your only friend. I'm not your only friend. But I'm a little glowing friend. But actually, I'm not really your friend, but I am. My blue canary is not in the outlet by the light switch. But it's right here in this cord. Um, hey! I'm Jabo. Welcome to Brigzar. I'm wearing my Flood shirt. We're going to talk about lights. And I got my... I mean, what they might be Giants fan wouldn't have their Blue Canary nightlight. Which only works when the light's off. doesn't have a switch. So I'm going to set that to the side before I break it. Uh, we're going to be talking about a, a sponsor. And, and when I say sponsor, they send me this book. I did not get paid for this. Uh, they just sent it to me. So anytime... You get something that's technically sponsored, even if you didn't get paid. Uh, but this is the Lego lighting book. And I'll tell you something about this. They reached out to me a few months ago, and I said, well, you know, that's not really something that interests me. <laughs> so I turned it down the first time. And then they came back uh, just last week, actually, uh, at the time of recording this, and asked me if I would like to look at it. And I was like, you know what? A lot of you guys and gals out there like lighting. And we just had Brick World Chicago and they do the World of Lights type things there. Uh, I think Brick Fair does a similar thing. And the writer of this book, Brian Williams, is a big contributor to those lights. And I do admit they look really cool. And I, again, I know a lot of you do that. So I wanted to take a look at this book for that reason. Uh, and the skeptic in me is that I don't want to deal with the LED lights <laughs> And I'm not reading from any script they gave me. I'm just telling you what I think. Uh, that's why I didn't want to get the books, because I, I, I'm not into the, the putting all the LED lights in your mocks. I've done it with a few things, and I, I regretted it. But this is, this book is actually beyond that, which is pretty cool. Um, and one, the, one thing caught my eye right when I, I started looking through it. Oh, well, actually, it has, it has building ideas for things, and it's not just... LED lighting. It talks about traditional Lego lights, lights that Lego made. It talks about lighting tricks that you can do, and it talks about one of the things that I really do like is the 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 bricks that kind of glow, uh, that have that that f f fluorescent glow. Uh, but this chapter two, it had this lighting um, under lighting solutions. Uh, this I get. I don't know if this is Brian's mock. Um, this is, oh yeah, it's the 151 lighting kits. It's a, it's a reference to a Radio Shack kit, one very similar, uh, to the one that I had as a kid. And I actually got one right here. <laughs> a hundred and, mine's the 161 electronic, uh, project kit. Again, I know this has nothing to do with Lego, but it does highly relate to this book talking about lighting. And if you want to get into the detail of this lighting you don't necessarily have to have the electronics expertise but if you do there's more things that you can do so that's what he he, he talks about in this book um, not just well this this lighting kit thing here has a lot of Easter eggs he said so apparently Brian is also into electronics which I think is pretty cool but that it's not surprising uh, if you like Lego and you like lighting your Lego kits and you want to get very advanced then a little bit of electronics uh, experience uh, would help. So he does go into explain some of those things in some of these chapters, but it, it just got me excited because this, th when I was a kid, this, this, uh, I think mine was like a 60 in one. This is a 160 in one. It's, it's pretty much the same board uh, from my, what I remember. I think my solar cell was a little different. Um, it's, it's actually in here, but um, had the little springs. And then you run your wires, and then they have uh, circuits that you build. And that's how you learn electronics. That's how I learned electronics back in the day, was this kit and reading Forrest M.M.'s uh, books that I bought from Radio Shack. Unbeknownst to uh, a lot of you, I was on a career into electronics. I spent more money on electronics than I did Lego. That technically could be my dark ages, but I did incorporate the two. I... Um, I took my Technic motors and cut the wires so I could connect them to my electronic circuits when I was a kid. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of that ability as I got older because I, I wasn't a hobbyist. In fact, one of my drawers in my BrickLink store used to have my electronic part. I actually finally threw some of them away. Because <laughs> I, I figure 
I haven't built anything in 40 years. Probably not going to start now. <laughs> but this, this book is, is, is very interesting. And I do like that he has different kits. He has different tricks uh, from just doing mosaic-like things with lights. Um, it's, uh, what, what is this? Showed how to make a lightsaber. Um, well, here's some of the, um, the stuff that lights under a, a glow light, I think. There was just, just, um, where was the one? Oh yeah, this one. There's this bright, there's the blue, the trans light blue, I think. And they had these people uh, made out of those trans light blue, uh, that glow under a uh, black light. Those are pretty cool. But, uh, glowing bricks. Uh, so I won't go into all the details. And, I, and again, I'm not into a lot of the things, but that he's got, you know, kits in here and the parts that you need for the kits. It, it did surprise me. And again, my hesitation to even looking at this book for free was that I'm not into the LED lighting stuff. It's frustrating to me. And even though I have that electronics background, it's just not something I, I'm interested in. But it still looks cool when people do it. So if it's something that is interesting to you, uh, I think this book, just from what I've seen already, it, it actually is a good book. And I'm not saying that because they sent it to me. I, I'm saying it because I really didn't want to look at this book, and then I got excited when I started looking at it. <laughs> so that just goes to show you, sometimes you just don't know uh, until you, you try something out. But So yeah, I'm not going to be getting into putting LED lights on all my different things that I have, but there's some ideas in here I, I, I really do do like. But don't in necessarily involve LED. For instance, there's a part in there about uh, the, the three, do, th three like, oh, what do you call it? The shadow things. Um, I'm terrible at remembering the, the shadow art is in here, but there was the, the thing where it, you look at it one way, it looks like one thing, and then it turns and it looks like something else. What was that called? Um, <laughs> I should be more prepared. Uh, but yeah, it's in here. Oh, look at that. A locomotive. Uh, Rio Grande. But yeah, this is, is there's a lot of projects in here. It's really more than... A, here it is. This is the one I wanted. It's shadow. It is under the shadow art. But this is a magic angle sculpture he shows in here. And that's where it looks like three different things... Uh, depending on which way you turn it, that's pretty cool. That's artistic. And, yeah, so it's got the website for that artist thing listed in there. So if you want to learn more about lighting, if you've ever been apprehensive about lighting, this is a good book, and I would, I would have never looked at it. But there will be a discount code in the description below, and if I remember to put it in the cards here, but thanks to Emma from... No Starch Press for sending me this book to look at that I wouldn't have bought otherwise. And now I actually do like it. All right, I need to do a quick uh, other haul. i got some other print media here in this box from a country far away. Where is this from? It is from DK. Is that uh, Denmark? It's from Denmark. So let me open this box. See if I can open it with one hand while I hold the microphone the other. Did anybody catch the flood reference? Did I mention that already? I can't. I'm wearing my flood t-shirt. Ah, yes. So, I don't know why they put it in a box like this. This should have gone flat mail. So, I picked up some Fabuland instruction manuals. That's all I bought from the seller. I tried to make it easy for them. I could have bought other stuff in their store, but I was like, I'm just going to buy instructions because I figured that would make it easier to ship, but they shipped it in a box. Um, ooh. All right, so we got 3670. We got 341. 3602, that's Bianca, I think. We got a Fabuland catalog or pamphlet. We got 3665, the ice cream. Uh, this is one that I should have already had, but for some reason I couldn't find it. And this is another one I thought I already had, but man, this one's in a lot better condition. So uh, it's the fire station, 3662. And then another one I thought I already had, probably do. 
I'm so bad about losing things. This is the, the meal. I did complete the meal with all the parts and all the tiles that are rare in there. So now I got a nice, and these are excellent condition. These, these are, in fact, some of the best condition Fabuland instruction manuals I've ever seen. And this is another service. Is this a service station or general store? 3675. So that it was a bunch of Fabuland instructions. I think August is going to be the month of Jabuland, if somebody said. <laughs> uh, you know, the, 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 I think I mentioned just in another video, but the big people that do. I built the Lego set every day for 30 days. I was like, what, you only built 30 sets? Well, was, <laughs> but somehow those, they like, do it for like one video that, you know, I built a Lego set. Or maybe they do little shorts every day. But that's what I thought I should do for August is I built... Three Fabuland sets every day for 30 days. This is what it, it resulted in. I don't know where I'm going to put it right now. So I got, I only need a handful of parts. I have placed six orders now. Actually, this was one of them. So I got five other orders out there for Fabuland stuff. And I'll still need a few parts. I actually need some pl yellow plates in, in certain sizes that I can't find. I know I got them down. I had a box that had yellow uh, plates in it. I don't know where it is right now. <laughs> so I've been looking for that. Uh, yeah, I have not gotten organized. Uh, but I, I continue to get rid of stuff, so uh, the books won't books won't add too much volume to the uh, volume of the basement, so uh, I like that. And, and maybe uh, Brian from Battery Powered Bricks, who, if you haven't watched Battery Powered Bricks, he's into the electronics. Um, I think he's probably has, he could reminisce about something like this as well. Uh, Battery Power Bricks is a great channel if you want to see somebody being creative with mixing electronics with Lego. And he actually tries to do a lot of it with genuine Lego parts. He does uh, occasionally replace the wires from the stuff that dry rots. But he even incorporated this touch screen into it. So again, that's not necessarily genuine lego but he does as much as he can with it and he's done some really creative things with trains monorail uh, remote control switches and things so um this i don't know how i ended up plugging battery powered bricks here um it, he's the youtuber i dreamed of being that i, but I was just too lazy <laughs> anyway thanks again uh, no starch press for the uh, lego uh, lighting book I need more subscribers so I can afford to keep the lights on. Um, what's your favorite song from Flood? Flood, uh, 1990, uh, They Might Be Giants album. Uh, just an all-time classic. I actually watched this YouTuber that does um, uh, talks about different music and iconic bands from music. and He really loved the, the Flood album. He, he uh, interviewed John and John about that. But um, Flood is... 34 years old. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, did you subscribe yet? So I can turn the lights back on.